So there's a lot of skepticism around the ability of millimeter wave frequencies to provide in-building coverage, but I understand that Qualcomm is doing some testing and modeling with some very interesting results, right? Yes, yeah, so that skepticism exists, and we actually had that type of skepticism ourselves before we started testing. Uh, but we've tested extensively in indoor office and in, in enterprise type of uh, deployments. And we currently actually have a test bed in an indoor office, a walled office in the U.S., in New Jersey. It's about 30,000 square foot, which we cover with three GNOPs, so three millimeter wave base stations. And we show the, the viability of such a, a scenario, that we, we can actually penetrate the typical construction materials. In the U.S. and in many modern office buildings around the world, the interior is really just made out of sheetrock or, or drywall, which is very easy to penetrate at 28 gigahertz or 39 gigahertz. And there are very reflective materials in the office that provide a lot of diversity in the environment, like whiteboards with metal backing, aluminum backing, or metal door frames, or metal doors, or ductwork on the other side of, uh, of drop ceilings. So it's a very rich environment that's very easy to penetrate. So that's quite a common configuration in terms of construction and setup in the office you're showing, but I also understand that you've done some modeling in a uh, very high intensity user scenario like the Fira that we're in here now. Yes, yeah, so this is, we've always said that a really good you know, opportunity for millimeter wave is a venue like this, like Fira or an uh, indoor stadium any kind of convention center really, or any place where you have a high density of users. You know, in a place like this where you have potentially a thousand users just in one hall that are trying to use, uh, you know, get some data service, you know, Wi-Fi is really limiting because it's a very shared spectrum, but millimeter wave is perfect because you have a high density and you have a high spatial reuse. You can have spot beams on many different users. So we've modeled this environment and we've co-sited base stations at the existing LT base, small cells, to show what kind of a gain you could get, what kind of user experience you could get in a hall like this. So when we bring 28 or 39 or other millimeter wave frequencies indoor, what type of user experience would you expect to see? We've modeled our New Jersey office based on our prototype measurements, based on channel measurements, and calibrated our simulations to make sure that we, we model the floor properly, and then we have a simulation based on that with, with co-siting with Wi-Fi access points and having 70 users in the office with different traffic profiles, with uh, downloading files or streaming or browsing. So we can actually look into video conferencing, for instance, to look at the average user's experience. We see that in this office, at 28 gigahertz, 800 megahertz of uh, bandwidth, we have about two and a half gigabit per second you know, uh, data, uh, throughput for an average user, which is more than enough to support an 8K, 120 frames per second video conferencing application. 90th percentile is actually as high as over three and a half gigabit per second, and even the lowest 10th percentile is one and a half gigabit per second, which is significantly more than the existing Wi-Fi deployment. And so it allows, gives the opportunity to offload quite a bit of data uh, requirement from the existing network. Well, now that we've seen this first wave of millimeter wave compatible handsets hit the market, I think this is a very interesting area to continue to explore. Yes, yes, I believe so. We, we now actually have products. We have many OEM vendors have announced products and operators are also committed to deploying millimeter wave. So we're now in a position to, to actually take advantage of this capacity, the, the potential capacity that we have. In, in the different venues, whether they're indoor enterprise or even outdoor, of course. Well, thank you for sharing your perspective with us. You're welcome. Thank you.